Hello everybody, welcome to the uh, replay of Dionysian versus somebody who isn't Dionysian, Lesnik. Um, oh, Lesnik, yeah, Lesnik has got high elves and uh, he was doing very well. And then I managed to just get in front of him at the end of the season. But he's got a very nice team. Um, Dio has got a team as well. Let's pause it to look at the teams. In the booth with me is PC and Elkmeem. Hello. Hello, hello, um, hello. hello. Yeah, sorry about that. It was a bit bit hectic at the start of this thing. So, right, they're high elves. They've got a plus strength Lino, plus strength catcher, add up move up catcher, add up blitzer, and a terrible thrower. A 14 players. Um, the dark elves have got a move up, sidestep sprint show feet. Nice. Mighty blow tackler, garter, add up, garter, add up. So, they've both got lots of stuff, haven't they? I don't know if what the inducements are. A babe for Dio. Yep. We've got nice so teams. Very, very we? closely matched. Some lovely, lovely elf teams here. Yeah. Um, what a thrilling prospect for this game. Yeah. Only one guard on the high elves, isn't there? I guess that's their weakness. They've got more stats, but only one guard. And, of course, the pace advantage with the uh, with the catchers. Yep. Are there any witch elves? Or one uh, one rookie witch elf for Dio? Yeah. Oh no, and he's got a wrestle witch. Okay. Yeah, so a wrestle on the pitch, a rookie on the bench. I like that. Pardon, Elf? I was just reading your chat there. Alright. Vague saying the El Clasico of emo elves versus hair conditioner elves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really, I really hate throwers. But I mean, I guess it's okay in this elf off, right? Because with mm. the with the strong with the uh, what's it called? Um... Oh, he's got a strong arm throw. That's fucking incredible. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the safe throw normally is worthless, but against like Edge Five elves, that, yep. that's pretty nice, isn't it? Actually, being straight able to throw, throw and accurate, of course. So uh... yeah, accurate, strong. Like, dude, this guy can fucking launch the ball. We're not talking. Talking a little pass, we're talking fucking clearing eight squares on a two plus. Yeah, uh, which is yeah. it's absolutely why he's uh, instead of daggering, of course, going rowdy and trying to hold a high line whilst dropping the ball all the way back because it can get just about anywhere on a two, let alone a three. That's yeah, like with rats, isn't it? You uh, you just stand and bang in the midfield, and you've got your gut run all the way back. It doesn't fucking matter. He can clear the entire pitch. So oh man, I really way. enjoyed my high off run when I had my strong arm thrower accurate, all that shit. <laughs> It's beautiful. I would rather just have Bludge sure hands to be honest, but they well in fact no Bludge guard obviously. <laughs> but hey. <laughs> and in be alignment with Bludge guard. But hey. <laughs> but if you you know if you've got that sort of tool, you've got to find ways to try and use it to get the value out of that TV, and he certainly is trying to do that, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, like it's 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 not it's not terrible, is it? No. But um as you said, a lot of matchups where it really wouldn't matter, where you'd probably rather have it on a, the range of a catcher uh, and be doing handoffs, but that is a piece that can throw very accurately and over the top of elves with reasonable chances it won't be intercepted. Yeah, yeah, that's the main thing, isn't it, in this matchup, is is that he's got this edge five that could get an intercept and you just can't intercept it. Safe throw a skill so good, of course, that in Blood Bowl 2020, they have split it into three different skills. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Safety. That's uh, fucking sad, isn't it? And that's definitely not because they just needed 12 skills to fill out each of the uh, the stat skill accesses <laughs> so that they could do random skill access. <laughs> yep. It's a shame that passing has been so nerfed because I think increasing passing is one of the things to get more casual people in the game. And you just can't do it though, like. That's yeah, the problem, you can't. It? It's fucking it's shit because you have to do, like. There's the only one real real way to play Blood Bowl, even the current rules, is banging. And I don't know about banging, but it's just it's just safer to not hand off yeah. and not yeah. pass. That's yeah. the that's yeah. the thing, not about banging or anything. And if you do need to move from one person to another, handing off is always going to be safer because it's the same chance to catch it. Yeah. Um, and it removes the need the first to throw it. Yeah. It sucks. Like I, I don't know. I just wish passing was a little more. I, I, I can totally agree. It. I mean, I certainly think in the, the key North American market, having I'm going to trail it again, uh, we have the training division on Fumble, known as the 145 Club, where we teach a lot of newer players, try and help them. You know, it's, human v. Human is such a brutal school. Try and help them get going, try and give them whatever help they need, whether it's having fun or playing better or team design, doesn't matter. We will try and help. Um, and you see a lot of North Americans arrive and desperately try and find ways to make throwing the ball make sense. <laughs> um, it's, that's it's American like, footballers, they're used yeah, to it. Yeah, exactly. And it just 
it sucks. It sucks. It really is a, a really is a, a sore point for me at least with Blood Bowl. Well, I've told the story before, but um, having talked to the artist, uh, whose name temporarily escapes me, but who drew all of the original Blood Bowl art, mm -hmm. uh, he was there during. Yeah, Pete Nifton, lovely guy. Um, he was there during those original meetings, which took place drunkenly on a Sunday in the pub, watching highlights of American football on Channel 4 mm -hmm. in the mid-80s. And no one watching them had any idea what the hell was going on, but they designed a game around it. Um, and I think it still shows that a lot of its roots come from people that understood rugby more than they understood American football. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Uh, also, there was the a depth there, successful mm -hmm. Apo, game's happening. Um, yep, there's a game. the game is happening, yeah. and Mighty Blow hit. Bangs a guy out, Apo fails, and that is his only card, and now he is guardless. Um, oh, the Apo failed, okay, okay. Yeah, it was a six. It was a six on the death, and a six on the uh, Apo. It was a strange yeah. Apo, but it was, it was, it, he was dead, and he's, it's his only guard, uh, I think. It sucks on a minus five guard, minus move guard, but it's his only guard, isn't it? So like, It is. It, it, I, I took it as much about chalice equity as about game equity. Yeah. It's as much about trying to have a team ready for the next few rounds because it is, as you said, his only guard piece, which is so key to just have a couple of those on a high elf team. It can really change how you can play them. Yeah. But it's such a risk doing it on a serious injury. Yeah. Um, when Dio, of course, not immune to the odd foul, does love to put the boot in. Does, doesn't uh, the old Dio? And you I do think do these, rich elf here. Yeah, you do think that these... Um, these Dark Elves just look a little bit rowdier, don't they? They haven't got the pace, but they have got more hitting. Yeah, yeah, loads of bludge. They've got the Mighty Blow Tackle. They've got some yep. sidestep. They've got Diamond Tackle. It's a pretty nice team, really, isn't it? Very, very nice. Lovely pal here. Jimmy finds himself on his ass, but armor's not broken. <laughs> I mean, that's it, Jimmy. Let's not underestimate these High Elves. It's a very nice High Elf team, too. But it, it does lack... Stats. Yeah, it does lack that those guard pieces, and it does lack a really good hitter. It's five stats versus three, but one of them's off the field for Dio. But it, it, it it's it's also like three guard versus none now. <laughs> well, of course, I've always described uh, Dark Elves as playing like sort of street brawling elves, uh, and these are you know the perfect sort of build to do that. Yeah, three, they the can four, get huh? up in your face. They can use their blood step to, you know, choose to either stay on you or get away from you. <coughs> They've usually got a very hitty piece like this one does with that one mighty blow. I might like to see two in an ideal world, but it's being greedy. Count them as many times as you like, Jim. There are only three guards yep, three. on the Dark Elf team. Yeah, I was right. Yep. I was right. Yep, you were just getting a cheeky IQ check from Frank Sylvain there. And, uh, <laughs> results are in. You failed. But now, don't let it get you down. <laughs> I don't want to tell you what to look at, Jim, but there is a, a very advanced catcher here. The AG5 uh, move-up piece has moved down into a scoring position. And it's a GFI to hit him as well. Are you going to GFI and butt-blast him? Wait, what? <laughs> what? And, of course, as we talked about, that thrower can, uh, can drop that ball on a pin. <laughs> he oh, yeah. actually can. Any square, any place, any time. The ball's landing there. Is he going to do another GFI to protect him? Nope. I think I'll make the nope. GFI here and get the Mighty Blow yeah. tackle on him. That's a yeah, me brilliant too. player um, to hit. And, and also it's just stopping it? the easy foul if you do take it down um, by having someone somewhere near cancelling some of those assists. Mm. Fuck you. I've, looking at the rest of his team, you fucking hate that Apo. Yeah. <laughs> but you hit him dying as well, though, don't you? And like, as it happened, the Apo would have failed anyway. Like, you don't, just, you don't really want an Apo like... <laughs> You don't want to apple a bad player. Like you don't want to apple a badly hurt bad and of all, player of all the because he's got because he's got player. three reserves, right? So he doesn't want to just yeah. apple like a shitter that got badly hurt. He wants to apple a good player. And then the chance of you getting a good player that gets badly hurt or a good player that's also killed is pretty low. Like he's only got one mighty blow, so I really don't hate the apple. I think it's probably right to apple the first. I mean, even into a missing. I don't like it. It, it yeah. I suppose, isn't terrible, but there's just it's fifty percent of not really this helping. Is why. And oh. there we go. That's the go. plus this... blue, plus agility piece. <laughs> now there you go. Now after the this guy would have been amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I also like, hate like, like, you have your, you have like your hierarchy of what there, players right? get apoed, and I don't think yeah. that guy ever. He doesn't make the top five. 
Why do you think he does his guard? He's the only guard, El. Yeah, but that's not really a fucking gonna. Uh, one guard versus thing. It doesn't help him in this game. And going forward, I don't think Maybe not in this game, either. but it's, you know, Dionysian isn't about winning the game. He's about winning the chalice. No, I'm there sorry. wasn't Dio that made no, the it was, um, it was Lesnick, yeah. Lesnick. But, you know, I, I can see him thinking. Yeah, it doesn't help so much this game, but next game I'm without that guard, I've got so much fewer options. Hmm. Now, Dio has not only monstered that receiving piece, though another one has blitzed its way into the backfield, and of course the one he uh, didn't have supporting it enough is still there. But that has really thinned out the protection on this, this uh, ball seven. carrying thrower, hasn't it? Yep. it is yes, the, we've already got turns away from us, haven't they? Yeah, the, the, the thrower's in range of getting punched right now. Yep. And he hasn't moved him back? Nope. Oh dear. <laughs> no, he yep. doesn't have tackle, it's fine. <laughs> How could this possibly go wrong? It's fine, Jim, don't this, worry. This guy, this guy can just hit him and maybe even score, right? <laughs> no, it's fine. You can chain him for the forward one, or even two if you sidestep. Perhaps an oversight on Lesnick. I don't know how he was doing for, obviously we can't see time, can we? But perhaps he ran out of time to... To do his it's turn there. Real bad. I mean, he couldn't get away from him anyway, to be fair. I, I quite like putting this guy in here. I quite like putting this guy in here, hitting with this guy, you know, then you can then you can sidestep to there, maybe run him down and put another one forward. Could have really got him, like, at least forward one. Anyway. You say he's not hitting with tackle, Jim, but if you have a look at that thrower, it hasn't got block. Yeah, no, no, no. Elp, Elp said he's not hitting with tackle. No, I did, I did say that, yes. I mean, tackle would be better, obviously, because that's three good dice on every dice, three good faces on every dice, but without block, it's still two good faces. Yeah, oh yeah, you're taking this all day, aren't you? And half the night, Jim. Oh, baby. And he gets the board down. Woo! Oh, oh okay. I, I, okay. I, I don't know if I mentioned that I'd have rather had block on this guy. <laughs> yeah, almost like I knew what was going to happen. Um... <laughs> And the recovery as well. And now what options do the High Elves have? How do they get back to this? Well, yeah, Don't think they, can, they do. They can well, pop look, it there is a tackle it piece. They can, pop it they can pick get it, it, but what do they do afterwards? Um, just pray for nil-nil. Oh, God, they don't get it. <laughs> no, it's a 1-9 in nine into a 1-36, in 36, Jim. Oh. Yeah, that's the noise I'm pretty sure he was making too. Well, <laughs> yeah, I don't see, you know, Dio straight on a fence here. High Elves walked away with this one, haven't they? They've not walked away with this one. The Dark Elves, I mean to say. Yes. Yeah, this is... Yeah. Pretty damning here for the... Now, Dio taking these greed hits. Do we like this? Should he yeah. just be popping it in? He's got the re-rolls. He's got the re-rolls. And especially because especially he gets to hit this on the seven, yes. doesn't he? That's the big yes. Thing. I mean, he, I don't... I mean, I, I didn't mind the one on the, the plus agility. I don't mind the one on the plus strength. Yeah. It was the one on the shitter. I suppose it was to free up at pieces in case he needed them for the assist here on the strength four, but... Yeah, it, it seems excessive. I think, yeah, do that one, then do this one twice. And then leave him till last. And even he's kind of pointless, right, because he's got, he's got three... Reserves. I don't know, he's got so many players removed. Yeah. But actually, yeah, I mean... Even hitting the shitters is okay. I don't know why he hasn't taken this... Oh, he hasn't got block on this guy, has he not? Bang, got his foul. Just a stun. Yeah, it doesn't take that one, surely. Right, no, just pops it in, and Dio is now 1-0 up, having turned over the High Elves and receiving the ball. Do place your in-bets now. <laughs> Do you think that the, uh, the High Elves can possibly come back here? If you like that, it's 25-1. to 1. Remember to gamble responsibly. When the fun stops, stop. <laughs> yeah, there's no way the High Elves come back from this. Absolutely surely not. no chance. Yeah, With well, Dionysian, master look, tactician that he is, He's receiving the ball, he's got a full team, he's still got his Apo, he's banged out a couple of the key high elves. This is all kinds of gravy, isn't it? It's it's it very is, yeah. good, it's very good. But of course, as we saw in my game, I got a blitz, which was incredible, um, mm. and decided the match. Also, the pitch invasion was really, really, really good, wasn't it? So, either of those two things, um, looking good for them. I mean, obviously, you'd expect Absolutely Guy to play around them as well as he could. Maybe it's two players back to get the ball and try to defend against the blitz as well as possible. No, Marky, I could do accent work all day, mate. You know, I do a, a vocal warm-up still most mornings because, you know, it's part of just me life. 
I could drop into accents um, and do various vocal impressions. <laughs> as long as they're only brief, you know, party yeah, accents. Jimmy, Jimmy's really measure of a good game is not facing any adversity, and he didn't face any adversity. Exactly, full force. I mean, I'm just saying that it wasn't as, you know, it wasn't that I just played outplayed my opponent to, like, a massive degree. I was really fucking lucky to get the... Uh, to get the blitz and the perfect defense, uh, the blitz and the pitching version, wasn't it? That's what I was saying. I was, if anything, I was being humble, removing no, I mean, yes. any, uh, no, I won't any, <laughs> any kudos I should have got from that match whatsoever because defend. it was just, it was an absolute dice to be fair, wasn't it? I, mean, I, do, I do think I played well after the pitching version um, to put the pressure on, but it, it, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't good that I, you know, it was just, it was just lucky wasn't it, getting the pitching version. But thank you for staying fantastic, faulty. Well, oh, there's a removal from the uh, LRS there. High Elves down men now against this banger Dark Elf oh. team we spoke about, didn't we? He's got, got, a, <laughs> he's got, got a cheeky vanity pass there just to try and get the uh, the raw witch skilled up. Uh, yeah, so this is how oh, this is how Dio baby. can lose it. <laughs> but like, you want to get them, so it's fair enough. Like, you you do want to get that witch elf skilled up for the chalice equity, uh, don't you? I think Dio's still in a dominating position here. I don't see him losing this. Yeah, but this yeah, is a shy okay. player. If he if he double ones that, first of all, if he ones it, 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 it you know he loses a reroll. If he double yep. ones it, the arch five just comes in and gets it. Like yes, and the high elves, as I said before, are so fast, so quick, and so agile. Uh, plus, with a couple of strength pieces to just punch a little hole to wherever he wants to get to. I did think that was a hell of a risk, but as I've said before, Dio isn't about trying to win this game. He's about trying to win this chalice. And if he feels that's the way to do it, is to uh, do some vanity passes. He's not above doing that. And the thing is, as banging as these Dark Elves are, what do you do when everybody's fucking based? Dodge and hold not for all double ones. <laughs> yes, I mean, yeah. lots of people are going to say daka, daka, daka. Um, not a term I'll enjoy using. Uh, and I do think this is more a turtle when you are, uh, you know, as Jim was and as we're seeing Deo being here, you are a touchdown up. You don't need to score. You can just run away and hide in a big old bunker. Yeah, but he's, he's turtling here. He's playing. He's playing Blood Bowl. He's playing. This isn't a turtle. Yeah, he's got the more playing blood up, which is um, not what you want if you want to, no. you want to uh, make it a safe Opens with a casual little stun there and now trying to remove the piece that's inside the cage. No, no, he's hit the other one. I lie, he was hitting the other one. Okay. Oh, I don't like that. A nice little moan there from the rich elf as she lines up to hit and just she gets the knockdown, but no removal. And she's a wrestle down. piece, so that's still only a 1 in 36, isn't it? That's still fine. Yep. But we, we are leaving this, uh, yeah, this ball like a little block. exposed still. I don't like that block. I would have liked to have uh, dodged away and punched this guy, right? This is, oh, I guess he's got this guy. He's got dodge. It's still a tiny bit greedy though, Jim, isn't it? I mean, I think that's fair to say. Yeah. There's a lot of hitting going on here. Assist the block, what are you playing at? There you go. <laughs> there you go. Two into two here. Gets it on the first set. And oh, immediately picks up the player there. No thinking time whatsoever. But we're watching it's, a replay. It's a replay, I'll be. It is a replay, <laughs> <Yeah>. yes. <laughs> I don't recall whether he's sat and thought about that for endless minutes. <laughs> that was there was a joke. I was making a joke about okay. how fast he was playing. <laughs> it was a joke, bro. Fuck's sake, guys. <laughs> it was just a prank. <laughs> just a prank. <laughs> just a fucking prank. I didn't mean those things I said about those women. It was just a laugh, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it was just a laugh. Wasn't just it, banter. Wasn't it? It, was it was just banter. banter. Like they do on that Top Gear. <laughs> he's got to come top up the right now, bands. hasn't he? As much as You'd have thought so. This is definitely a time where there's a hole to advance up the right-hand side. Plenty of elves over there, not leaving many dark elves behind. Even a hole between that backing piece and the line of scrimmage to dodge some ones through that way if you want towards the end. Surely you just there's, bang there's... this one over on the side and advance. You're both talking here as though there's a chance that Dio loses from this dominating position. I don't, don't see I don't how think... that's possible. Yeah, I really do not see how that's possible. I'm feeling spoilers now from you two, but never mind. Let's let's <laughs> let's focus on the game. And, like things can happen. Things can always happen as elves, but I mean, it's it's going to take a critical double one basically. So like, really, all Dio has to do is try to ensure that he's not making a critical one in thirty six roll, isn't it? That's 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 what he's got to do here basically. If he doesn't have to make a critical one in 36. Like that, yeah. that um, which hit there was risky, was it not? There's a frenzy into 
Oh god, that was... To a single die, yes it was. It was two into one. Yeah. And that's... Uh, Dimmy yeah, is injured. Yeah. Uh, and that witch elf is too. <laughs> yeah, bit of brain oh, damage yes. on Dimmy there. <laughs> oh, and the witch also, yes. <laughs> oh, some jokes never get old. Oh, Rather like the immortally young at heart Dimmy himself. <laughs> yeah, only well, a joke. The, um, I love Dimmy. High arms are looking like they've got a good defence. Yeah, yeah that's that's not sure on the follow. Has someone in the chat got very near saying there, Dimmy went down like a drunk man off a chair. <laughs> oh I just front door. Wait, wait. Right, so he, he can he can blitz down this side. I don't know. Yeah, he's, he's got it. He's got no, it. There's, there's, a, there's a hole there now, isn't there? It's oh, uh, it is a rog piece that's just to the outside of those dark elves. So but even if you just move it, there's plenty of space to head up there. Yeah, he's got all these players free. He's got to he's got to do something here. But uh, again, I think we're seeing a turtle here. We're just seeing a nice, strong defensive shape and some hitting. Yeah, see, I quite like the turtle. An advanced turtle is good, isn't it? Like, you know, like yeah. the Dakar is obviously super dangerous against these elves because if they get a 1D on the ball or whatever and pop yeah. it, they're just in instantly. Yeah. So, like, so I can see that this, the, the kind of the, the turtling at halfway makes He's it no safe. need to score. He's no need to put himself under any threat or pressure here. He's getting enough hits. I mean, some of the witch stuff has been a little dangerous, but that seems to be over, at least for the time being. Yep. Plenty of space just to stall this up. We're already at turn 12. It's fine. Yes. And I mean, actually fine. Yes, actually fine, a, not a, a real fine. use of that word. <laughs> <laughs> so the High Elves are thinking that the, the Dark Elves might be coming forward. We're already seeing a slight Chevron defense form here. Um, not immune to a little bit of hitting themselves, but... Uh, oh. Oh, there comes the skulls, look. Got to re-roll that, because, I mean, that was a yeah. gaping hole. If he could not it, it really that. was. Maybe he should have moved um, the strength four first. To like absolutely should have done. That one could have moved first. The other strength four out on the far side could have moved first. Yeah. A little bit of tilty uh, turn ordering, I felt there. Yeah. But in the end, you know, after the double skulls were re-rolled and worked out fine, that's a, it's a nice strong shape here, isn't it? Yeah, and this is a nice so foul, actually. It is a nice foul. Down. For so me and piece. everybody that stepped away for a quick second, could you give us a recap on the last turn? <laughs> yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, he just double sculled the High Elves, taking on a block a little bit early in the turn when there were some better pieces that could have moved absolutely safely into the positions they were going to and didn't, but re-rolled it, and then put a lovely uh, three-assist foul in on uh, that the most bangy Dark Elf piece, but didn't even manage to break armor, but the ref didn't care. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So oh, I, I, didn't, I didn't think you guys heard that. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, it did. It did sound. Uh, it did sound very Amazon-like. <laughs> now, there's a lovely shape there. Look, Ooh, full dodges. wall in front of the ball, and uh, protected from behind with the two guard. All three guards involved in that defensive shape. Really, really solid. Yeah, I thought he just blocked there with Witch Elf and then brought the other guy back. But yeah, I guess he was going to dodge them both. I think so. I mean, it doesn't hugely matter because it was such a good, solid defence that even if that fail came as it did, it wasn't the end of the world, was it? Oh, true. I mean, you're under a bit of pressure now, but all you've got to do is drop back and re reform, and it should all be fine. But I'd still rather just, you know, knock him down and uh, knock him down and done things. Now, there is a sidestepper on the ball there, and a tackle sidestepper, so that's, that's a mild issue. That does need some solving. But of course, elves, you know, it's not that difficult to imagine how they get out of that. But now, now, like, everyone in 36 is critical now, isn't it? He's only yeah. got two players free. Yep. So. And down to just two rerolls. Oh, uh, no, three rerolls on the dark elves. Yes, two on the high elves. So, yeah, so now now you can see how he loses it, because now, if he rolls anyone in 36s, it's, uh, it's going to be scary. Yeah, so he closes up all of the spaces for the sidestepper, allowing him to push back, get a lovely screen of Dark Elves there to cower in behind. <laughs> Sorry, to screen himself off effectively. <laughs> and now just needs to form a nice cage around it. That's not a sidestep piece, so that frees up another elf. Yep, lovely. She's in the back corner there, I think, is quite interesting. If this had failed, there could be some mild problems. Ah. Yeah, that is interesting, isn't it? But again, a nice Venga bus, as it is known. 
And he gets to blitz and with the attack. final move is to blitz with his tackle mighty blow. Wonderful. Gets a bang, gets a stun. He does. Fails a dodge. But doesn't manage to get out. No, he does. He does re-roll it. Interesting. Yeah, but, well, he's still now. got three. Yeah. I, mean, I don't yeah. hate it. Uh, yeah. That piece has been, you know, several turns out of the game, and it is the piece that can really take do some damage to the high elves. I didn't hate that. Yeah, your apple's gone. You've got three rerolls for three turns, and obviously you don't think you're gonna, <laughs> you don't think you're gonna give up the ball here. He's got no, no, safe cage, isn't he? Um, and it does mean that almost certainly the blitz is coming on that piece rather than threatening the ball, which it did. Mm -hmm. um, and Dio definitely is a fan of. He doesn't call it as I do, but definitely a fan of showing a bit of leg sometimes to sort of you know define where they're going to move and hit. And it definitely worked there. Look. Not maximizing blocks there. No. Nope. Against the armor seven, I'm. I don't know. But it has meant that he can do this and absolutely base up that wall of guard. This is very very true. <laughs> Thrower is back. Nice, nice. Nope, he's going back. He's going back enough square. No, no, he's Moving not around. too sure at all. He's, he's not too sure. He's bouncing settled. all over the shop. I think that's the right space for him in the end that he found. Yeah. Uh, just shoring up that sideline. But of course, Dio not interested in going forwards like Jimmy. Not looking for that hole even. Just <laughs> looking to stabilise. No screw. Two out of three people in the booth know what happened. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened. Um, Elp has seen the result. I've seen the result. Yeah, I don't know how it unfolds. I did watch the game live. I can't pretend. But I'm still going to be surprised if this doesn't end up in a, a very easy Dio win from here. Look how much control he's got. <laughs> Loads of his good pieces in, around the ball. Guard in front of it. Guard on the other diagonal corner. I mean, the, the fact that we're watching the game... <laughs> he is <pushed laughs> and it's, it, it's been so boring and it's still 1-0. It means there's definitely some wild things coming from the high elves. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, right now, a wild thing is the only thing that solves it, isn't it? This is pretty easy as well. This is just a dodge in with, well, not with dodge. Yeah, with dodge and wrestle. So he bases the, the non-guard piece. He then also bases the guard piece. This is surely the attack on the board, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's got to be. I mean, with only two turns left, it has to be. Yeah, I guess Dio shouldn't have blitzed that guy. He should have double-layered the screen because this is... Yep. Or popped a piece in the middle like he did on several turns before and had a wall of three in front of the ball, but he didn't. The elf gets in and gets a power, but it's a sidestep. Oh, yeah, so lovely gets a sidestep over there. If the ball bobbles through, but it doesn't, it bobbles onto the sideline. He's got the throw! Line. He's got the throw! The throw goes in. The throw goes in, picks up the ball. Doesn't need your hands. Might have used. Might have used. Pops uh, it over a whole like cage oh. who can't intercept. <laughs> And the High Elves bang it in for 1-1. One, one. Fucking love to see it. <laughs> they laughed about the thrower. <laughs> Earned his rent there. Wow. I mean, uh, sure hands would have been good well. there, wouldn't it? But as it happened, the uh, the, the strong arm, uh, not strong, the safe throw may have been a, may have had an impact. Like, it, uh, I don't think it your, did uh, where the dice roll, but like, you know, it, it could have done, couldn't it? I would grab your handbag and pearls. We are not done yet, people. We are not done yet. There is, of course, a turn for each before we even see who gets the ball in overtime. Oh God, it could be two one-turners. Yes, that was a turtle, <laughs> not a dacker. No, it wasn't even a turtle. He was playing Blood Bowl and he couldn't get forward. No, nah, he could have done. He could have definitely no, got he, forward. No, he described ah. himself as a turtle as well. There was two places he could have absolutely yeah. got forward if he wanted Yeah, to. absolutely. He could have done if he chose to. He decided it was safer to stabilise and stay in the turtle. Yeah. And then he, um, yeah, he just forgot, literally a piece between those two in front of the ball carrier, and that's so much harder to happen. Yeah, yeah <coughs> you, you've got to say it's a mistake by Dio, I guess, because like it was just too easy, wasn't it? Like I know it was a five plus dodge in, but he had dodge on it, and then yeah, it was a which one makes it about wrestle. fifty percent to get there, and then a one die, not easy, but pulled off the six. Yeah. And then uh, it actually wasn't that difficult with the thrower. It was a 3 plus 3 plus, and then a casual little 2 plus throw. Mm. Right, so he's gonna, he's gonna dodge in here. And, oh, he's not gonna re-roll this, is he? Oh, God, he is. Wow, did he. Surely you've got to, uh. Go over time. Got to try and get the pu pushes first. Well, I would, Jim. I didn't like that re roll at all at the time, and watching it back, I like it less. The well, high elves can one turn in return. Yeah, yeah. And what? I think a better set to do it. Yeah. 
I think, However, with yeah, it then I failing, you... it's just a wasted reroll, isn't it? Yeah. Oof. Yeah, I think you just make the ball safe and go for OT. Dion not caring about the Kekwiddy. Unbelievable. The guy who invented Kekwiddy. <laughs> Massive Kekwiddy shift. <laughs> yeah. And just and, equity uh, shift, having one reroll for overtime instead of two. Like. Well, from a position not long ago, if you remember where he was three rerolls to two, he is now one reroll to two. And Lesnick has the fame. So it's. Uh, I thought that reroll was not a great choice. No, me too. So now the High Elves are managing to maximise some of those blocks because of this failed one turn, leaving a lot of Elves exposed. We go to overtime. That Witch is still dead. So is the uh, the High Elf. No recovery there for the High Elves. But that still leaves us 11-11, I believe, for the overtime. Mm, wow. And the ball, can you feel it? Can you feel it coming on strong? Oh, it's obviously going to be High Elves. It is going to be high elves, Jim, but again, clutch those pearls and handbag tight to you. This is not over yet. So yeah, it's still 11 versus 11. Both apples failed, didn't they? <laughs> I mean, uh, Dial's worked a bit. It, it, it means he's not dead. Uh, just broken ribs. Um, but uh, he's totally she, Jim, failed. But yes. yeah, I just say he all the time. It's easier. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. It is to, it's easier to misgender people. That's. Yeah, how do you know? How do you know what the witch elf's gender is? Things. It's all that's personal choice. Very nowadays. true. I stand corrected. And they is confusing for a lot of foreign people because they think of like they as being multiple people. So yes, Oriolensis, I, I agree. I do think there's been some great play in this game, uh, which yeah. we perhaps haven't concentrated on enough. Um, I really liked the way that the High Elves were trying to get forwards. I hated the way they exposed the ball at the end of that drive. I felt there were pockets it could have gone into and still had the option to make the pass for the touchdown, which clearly was his plan. Yeah. Um, I love the way Dio pressured the midfield, covered the backfield options, and then eventually pressured the ball. I actually thought he could have got forward to pressure the ball two turns earlier with at least a single piece. The fact that it lacked block meant a single piece Glorious. forward was already going to be a huge no, amount of pressure. I won't on that, give that in until um, I it, it literally is school because I, I had someone who was foreign. I don't know I what I don't know what nationality they were, but they were literally they were confused in the rule book because uh, the blood ball rule. I think it was the blood ball rule book, like they said. They, they they used they in like the you know of the roles for like you know GFIs or whatever and they were completely confused because by it so there you go that, that's, that is truth. <laughs> Are you? Uh, I don't think you've ruled out that person being a bit of an idiot and not taking the rest of the sentence in the okay, context. Okay, maybe yeah, maybe maybe yeah. that person's just an idiot, but still, <laughs> it does mean it does mean that foreign people can be idiots too. <laughs> <laughs> so he gets the tackle on the furthest forward threat, which makes total sense, yep. doesn't it? Especially when they can score any time they want. It's not like defending a normal drive where... No, if they score, we're done. Yeah. So some lovely yeah, we... pressure on the, the main scoring piece there. Lovely centralised Dark Elf team here, really cutting off most of the options. English this time he saying... does put a piece instantly deep to threaten that ball carrier and Woo. indeed marks it with a couple of cheeky go for it. I wonder if he'd have re-rolled those if they failed. I suspect probably not. And putting in a big old foul on that catcher. Well, the funny thing with is, this gets the KO. Whew. The funny thing is with the with English is extremely gender neutral as a language. French, yep. everything is gendered. I'm not too sure on German. German has it's... both genders and neutral. So, for example, tables obviously are neutral, uh, singularly, but tables as a collection become male. <laughs> yeah, see, we Obviously. don't have a great deal of that shit. There's, uh, machines are she, and that's yeah, but only not in as sort of far as it goes. But yeah, patronising public there. school circles. Yes. Oh, my boat. Yes, she's lovely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. 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 So he gets to use his pass there. Elp is very happy about that two plus pass. Oh, and, that uh, look at this lovely little screen he's uh, generated with a plus strength rackle. Piece, uh, sorry, Rog piece, and uh, a sidestepper covering it, a plus agility just in front of it, with diving tackle to prevent anything dodging in. It's it's a lovely side screen, isn't it? He can dodge in and surf him, PC. He can dodge in and surf him. Why wasn't he one square back? 
Because well, I don't know, right. Jim. I'll be honest. I don't know. He can't dodge in from the piece in front because that one has diving tackle, doesn't it? Yeah, the one behind. The one behind. The one behind doesn't. So then it's off tackle uh, because they've both got tackle. Yep. Oh no, the one in front has uh, its wrestle tackle, isn't it? So there isn't the diving tackle there. The diving tackle's the rear piece. Yeah. yeah. So you can dodge in off that front piece, uh, but look at this wall. Look at this dark elf mass that is just invading this cage. It doesn't go in. No, it doesn't go in, gets the surf instead. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's a really good play at the surf, isn't it? Yep. Now, of course, that witch just as vulnerable to being surfed back. Yeah. But you'd take that trade all day, wouldn't you? Yeah, I mean, it's it's certainly one way of like trying to get in the way, and you know, who's to Runs say? the ball back. Who's to say? If hands it, if off the, to the thrower. <laughs> who's to say if the situation was that desperate that the March, dodge March, surf marks was, the shitter was right working. out on the edge, and here comes the dark elf diving tackle right in that bludge step diving tackle on that strength four on the edge. Oh, and the closes dive. the back door too. This is brutal. This assault on that ball, isn't it? It is look, does look pretty brutal, yeah. Now, what could the high elves possibly do about this? Roll some dice. <laughs> well, they first of all move that piece. Uh, I mean, is there a way forwards here to score? I mean, it's this. I mean, Ooh, the elves can always do everything on a six, maybe, but. That little gap in front of it. Remember, there's a sidestep diving tackle oh, on the ball. It's the lovely cow there. Yeah, I do now, really like this in the tackle. For a second, I love this. Oh. Okay, or not. Hands off to him, and then he passes it to the line. <laughs> yeah, of course he does. Yes, I fucking called it. <laughs> I genuinely didn't know anything about that. This First of all, just incredible. marks it. And then there's that lovely little pocket to run that thrower into. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Over goes the pass. Three plus catch. Fucking beautiful. Two plus dodge, two plus go for it. Didn't that whole turn didn't even need a reroll. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know that, but that was someone who's played with a thrower of that caliber. That's the play. When you get drilled in that fucking hard, there's no move forward. Yep, that's the play. <laughs> Risky as shit, I wouldn't be doing it in the chalice here, but I mean if that's, that's the play. Lodge step diving tackle hadn't been taken down. I think the high elves were done. Yeah. Uh, I love the square, the square that Dio sidestepped into. At the time, I was thinking that catcher was going out sideways through exactly the square that uh, side that blodge step went down into, preventing it. And then I suddenly had a quick look backwards and saw that thrower that was only eight behind the ball and thought, ah, that's the plan. <laughs> yeah. Sure enough, two threes and a two got that uh, got that catcher out backwards. Hand off to the thrower. Thrower punts it to the. Yep. Shitter on the edge. The piece that no one cared about. The poisoned pawn of this and particular matchup. And a win for the High Elves from the most unlikely of positions. You should have taken that bet. You'd have had more fun. It's um, usually you've got the... Uh, that's the fucking... The Pro Elves do that sort of shit. It makes you feel sick because they've got nerves of steel. But you, didn't even, you know what I mean? A free plus is no big deal. Yep. Yeah, that's the thing, Particularly if you've got a reroll to pump into it. I do wonder again if the reroll had gone at that point in the turn, would the thrower have just hung back and looked for an option in the in the subsequent turns? Um, yeah, you drew it all the way back. He was up on rerolls, wasn't he? Yeah. Um, yeah, you, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how long you can hide for, but you can certainly work another angle. I did but indeed I think... offer you 25 to 1, Steve Motti. Be honest with me. If you didn't know the result at that point, would you have taken it? Dio 1 0 up with a full team and the ball in hand. <laughs> I mean, I would have taken 25 to 1, yeah. <laughs> because, Fuck me. Because it's Blood Bowl, isn't it? But, um, yeah. I wouldn't have taken, like, 3 to 1. <laughs> and even, I mean, I thought that turn from Dio smothering that sidestep, that um, side push up the sideline, I thought that was lovely. I thought he really had him nailed. I looked at that and I thought, this is it, we're done. He's the tackle. No, I saw, like, I saw that in immediate. I'm like, yeah, he just touches back, passes, hands off, passes, done. Well, you were right. That is what happened. And that was the right plan. Yeah, he wasn't. The thing was that he was the that's blood step was on well. tackle, that's... wasn't he? I didn't like that. Wouldn't he have been better one nope. square further forward? Like that. I thought that was maybe a bit of a mistake by uh, by Dio there on his turn. You know, his losing turn. Um, yeah. But I mean, I do. I, yeah, I mean, I thought that blood step. You know, it just it, if it wasn't a pal. I still think that ends be brutally badly for the High Elves, but it wasn't. Yeah, that's true. That's true. He did have to power him, yeah. But there you go. Um, a great performance from Lesnick.
And, uh, to, you know, tough shit for Dio. <laughs> Commiserations for Dio, that's the one. Congratula congratulations, Lesney. <laughs> Commiserations, Dionysian. Thank you very much, PC and Al. Pleasure. You're welcome. What a um, game of Blood Bowl. It deserved to be seen by lots of people, that. It was, yeah, very nice. And, uh, I think. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.